here we have part one of a, a short video tutorial showing you how to organize your spreadsheet for the coursework. So I've created three fictitious trades back on the 25th of February 2008. I just tossed a coin with long 10 yen, short 10 euros, and long 10 British pounds. So just to show you how you would have three positions running at once. And I recommend that you have one sheet for each position. So we've got an overall position which shows our margin account, our cash and our overall wealth. So we start off with $250,000 and I'm just going to concentrate first of all on the yen trade. So we have our commission. Of course we know that it's 10 contracts and the round turn commission is $25. So our cash will immediately, on the 25th of the second, drop by what it was minus the amount of money we pay in commission. And that's a cost that's not coming back. But we also know that for each position we have to instigate a margin payment. So for the yen, the initial margin is 2,700 times 10 contract, so it's 27,000. So if I just refer to that value, we have it like that, and our cash will, of course, drop by the amount we put in the margin account. But our overall wealth, of course, is the sum of all of our margin accounts and our cash. So our wealth will just have dropped by the $250, because that's not refundable. So $249,750. So here we've got the evolution of prices, including the settlement price for yesterday, which just happened to be the same as what it was the day before. Just to show you where we get the settlement prices from, come on the CME website, Globex Flash Quotes, multiply that by 100 it's 0 0.9751 dollars per 100 yen so we know how to work out the daily profit or loss from previous examples it's the number of contracts if we're long times by 12 and a half million times by the change in price and because it's dollars per 100 when you do this for the yen contract our margin account will of course be what it was plus the profit or loss in our overall position, of course, we should just drag the margin account down. And our cash, because we haven't touched it, will be what it was the previous day. But our wealth will have increased by how much we have in the margin account. So how much our margin account has increased. And so I can drag down my profit for the subsequent days. And I can drag down my margin account for the subsequent days. And hence I can come to here and drag that down. Drag my cash down because I'm not touching it drag my wealth down. So my total net profit is the amount of wealth I end up with minus the amount of wealth that I start off with, 53,875. Now here we've got the gross profit and loss, 54,125. And of course, if I take the commission away from that, we get 53,875, which is the same as here. So that is the end of part one.